All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in a Center Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your pick a card reading. So we're gonna take a look and see how does the person on your mind currently feel about you. If you guys wanna book something personal, I do have a promotion going on. I'll leave it in the comment section down below. All right, so let's take a look. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So we're gonna start off with this one here. There's only a message, so I'm gonna get some tarot cards. Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal, all right, so this person's message to you is, I'm scared of vulnerability. So, I'm scared of vulnerability. So I feel like this person wants to be able to open up to you, okay? But if they haven't, it's because they have this fear. So let's see what's coming through. How does this person feel about pile one? How does this person feel? Yeah, see, four swords reverse. This is someone who wants to open up. They wanna tell you something. They wanna tell you how they're feeling. They wanna be vulnerable, but they have this fear of it. But I do feel like they're, they're, they're gonna break free of this. So eight of swords reverse, I love this. Eight of swords reverse would indicate that this person is gonna get over this fear, or at least that's what they're working towards is like getting over this fear of being vulnerable with you so that they can actually communicate their truth to you. Yeah, because this person wants to be with you, Ten of Pentacles. This person is actually seeing a future with you. Okay. Um, what, is the, what is it that they want to say specifically here? What is it this, this person wants to say? Well, they want to tell you why they've been holding back Four of Pentacles. They also want to tell you that they are a stubborn person. Like, they're hard to budge. But I feel like mainly they want to tell you why they haven't been open with you, like why they haven't been vulnerable with you. Because this person likes to protect themselves. What does this person want to say to pile one? What does this person want to say to pile one? Okay, I don't love myself, so how could I possibly love you? So this person is struggling with self-love. They don't mean anything to me, I want you. So this person is involved with someone else. We'll look at that in a minute. We have, I won't reply, and we have, I'm longing for you right now. So one thing I'm getting is let this person come to you, because I kind of feel like if you come towards this person, or if you go towards this person, it's going to trigger that vulnerability, it's going to trigger that feeling. So I feel like they won't reply to you as a means to kind of keep you at a distance, let this person come to you because I honestly feel like it's something that they need to overcome. Like this is part of their self-love journey is being able to be vulnerable with someone, being able to open up. And this is what they're really trying hard to do. They really want to overcome this fear and they are longing for you. So I feel like this desire to be with you is pushing them to overcome this fear. Let's see this. They don't mean anything to me. I want you. We have, the, yeah, they have love for you. Ace of cups. If there is someone else, I don't, there could be, yeah, we have the queen of pentacles. Um, if there is someone else that they're either already with or like someone that they're talking to, it's really, that's nothing to them. Like in their mind, you're the person that they have feelings for, Ace of Cups. They have an overflow of emotion for you, actually. Some of you probably don't know this about this person because they keep a lot to themselves. They don't say much. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, so this person is focusing on finding mental and emotional balance right now. It's like they don't want to come towards you until they feel balanced, until they feel emotionally safe, which they don't right now. Let's see. What else do we have for this person? Yeah, if only you knew how much this affects me. So, <clears throat> again, I feel like a lot of you don't know what this person is going through because they're not vulnerable with you. They don't share a lot. The Four of Pentacles, to me, feels like someone who never really opened up to you. Like they always kind of kept up a wall or they kind of kept you at a distance, but things affect them even though they don't show it. Okay, so if they do have a financial concern here. I'm worried that I don't have enough money for you. So this is something that they are, I don't think it's the main thing on their minds and I definitely don't think it's the main fear, but it is a secondary fear where they're like, okay, well, if I do commit to this person, if I do open up and I you know, try to pursue something with this person, what if I don't have enough money? Let's actually clarify this. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so um, they may fear, like some of you may actually make more money than them, and this is something that they're kind of like insecure about. Um, they may worry that they can't match you financially. This person could also just be going through some sort of financial struggles at the moment. 
But again, I don't think it's the main fear. Like, I don't think that's the main thing keeping them at a distance. I think it's a secondary thought. The main issue is their vulnerability. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, recognition. This person sees you, right? Like, this person sees you on all levels is what I'm getting here. Like, they recognize that there is something unique about this connection. It's not just physical. There's a mental connection. There's a spiritual connection. They feel that there's a lot here and there's a lot of potential. And that's why I feel like this person is really trying to overcome this fear of vulnerability so that they can come towards you. But I would say another thing is like, don't push this person. Let them come to you is a big one, especially with I won't reply because I feel like if you step in, I feel like it's going to kind of mess up this person's progress because it's it's more of a thing that they need to do. They need to overcome this. Okay. So I hope that resonated. That was pile one. Okay. I can't remember which one was pile two, but this, we're going to do the purple next. Okay. We have the, oh wow. Strong message. This is true love. So this person loves you. They feel like this is true love between the two of you. Okay. What do they want to say? What does this person want to say to you? Ten of Cups reversed. Tower reversed. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Hmm. interesting so this person feels like it's true love but then we have the ten of cups reverse the tower reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse i kind of feel like this person is not expecting a positive outcome out of it though so they feel like you're a true love but they feel like this is not going to lead to something positive for whatever reason I'm getting like, they're a f I don't know, maybe there's a history that the two of you have. They feel like this, even though they feel like you're their true love, they worry that this is not going to lead to something positive. Why? It's because of the past. What happened in the past between the two of you? This person thinks that the past is going to repeat itself. So they do love you, but they're so worried that like whatever happened to the two of you in the past is just going to repeat itself. So they don't they're not really predicting a positive outcome between the two of you. Let's see. Yeah, so they're kind of thinking about this like, okay, I love this person, but do we even have a future? Like, is there even a future in this connection? Then we have compromise. This person feels that they would have to give up a lot in order for this connection to work. Like, they kind of feel that Maybe they would have to change a lot of things about themselves or they feel like they, you would have to change a lot of things about yourself in order for this to work. We have, I know it doesn't seem like it, but I really am trying. Okay, so... <clears throat> I feel like this person may know as well that it's not just like your fault, the reason why this connection didn't work. I feel like they're recognizing that they also played a role in this situation. Um, and they are trying to change certain things about themselves, but I they may also look at this and go like, okay, I know all of the things that I would need to change in order to be like a good person or a good partner for this person, but they feel like it's it may be like a lost cause here. They are trying, but they feel like it's going to be too hard. We have don't let me treat you this way. Yeah, I feel like this person does recognize that there are things that they do in this connection that aren't right. And it's like they love you, but they're worried because they don't know if they can step up and be that person that they need to be in order to love you correctly, if that makes sense. Because it's like they know who they would have to be in order for this connection to be like healthy in order for the two of you to have a good future, but they're like, do I, can I even be that person? 
But they also think there's certain things about you that you would have to change too. They don't want the repeat the past to repeat itself. This person may feel like the two of you have a lot of work to do. We have peaceful. They feel like one thing about you that they really like is that you bring some sort of energy to their life that they don't get from other people. I also think that's why this person feels like this is true love. But it's like, it's weird. It's like they love you, but they don't think it's going to work out. You know, it's like, um, yeah. So if they're not giving to you, that's why. If they're not giving to this connection anymore, it's that's why. They, it's not that they don't have feelings. They do. This person's in love with you, but they just don't see this turning into anything positive. They feel like the past is going to repeat itself, which makes me feel like you must have a history with this person where the same thing kept happening. But that's where they stand with you right now. Okay, so that's pile number two. Hope that resonated. Okay, so let's move on to pile three. How does this person feel? We have you make me feel so nervous. Okay. The Knight of Wands reversed. Ooh, the lovers. Gemini. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Five Pentacles. Okay. This person's really into you, so I don't know if you're like already with them, if this is new, if this is old. Regardless, they're really into you. Um, but this person is a little bit like, you may notice that they get nervous around you. You may nervous, notice that they get like kind of, I don't want to say uncomfortable, but they're not super like relaxed in themselves. And I feel like the reason why is because they feel a really strong connection with you, but they have this fear that you're going to leave them or they have this fear that you're not going to stick around. And so that's what puts them kind of on edge. It's not you. It's just that they really want you, but they're kind of worried that at some point you're going to leave them, which makes me feel like maybe someone in the past left them. I also feel like this person has a lot of passion for you that they do not express or they do not act on. For some of you, you may feel like you've been the one putting a lot more of the effort into this connection, but just know that this person wants to. Like they want to put equal effort. They're just not because of this fear that they have. Let's see. Pile three, we have I miss kissing you. So maybe you're at a distance from this person. You mean the world to me. And I'm not good at communicating my feelings. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, I think this person only shows you like a tiny bit of their actual interest in you. When in reality, they have a lot of interest in you that they don't show you. But you do mean a lot to this person. Okay, we have I'm more mature now. I think there's some distance between the two of you. We have can you wear that outfit again? If you recently wore something um, around this person, they really liked it. Maybe you wore something online, they really liked it. I do feel like this person is working on maturing. If this is someone from your past, they've been working on themselves, okay? They may recognize that in the past they weren't super mature. They might not have dealt with the situation properly. Let's see, pile three. Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is, okay, this is someone from your past. This feels like past energy. This feels like someone you're not really like with right now who wants to come back into your life. They want to apologize for the past and say that they're more mature now. They've been keeping tabs on you. So that could be where they have here. Can you wear that outfit again? This person has been keeping tabs on you since everything happened in the past and they want to, they want to reach out and apologize. They want to resolve things because they've been watching you ever since. They've been keeping tabs on you but they do struggle with communication. They're a little bit immature when it comes to communication. That could be what they've been working on. Yeah, see, they want to apologize. Page of Cups. They want to apologize to you for sure. What do they want to apologize about? The Hermit in reverse. They may want to apologize because if this person retreated from you in the past, if this person like completely withdrew their energy, they want to apologize for that and they want to explain to you why they did that. They're longing for you. Yeah, this person misses you a lot. 
This person misses you a lot. They're reflecting on the past. You still make them nervous, but I feel like they want to tell you why they retreated from you. And I don't feel like it was a lack of interest. I feel like this person kind of felt like at some point you're going to leave me, so I might as well leave you first. That's kind of what I'm getting here, and they want to apologize for that. I'm also getting here that they've been trying to work specifically on their communication because they know that this is something that bothered you, how they communicated. They struggle with that. I think they're still kind of a little bit immature, to be honest, but they have been working on it. Let's get one more message. We have trustworthy. Yeah, okay, so this person is coming through as someone who really wants to regain your trust because they know that they broke it in the past. So expect this person to come through and be very honest with you and really truly apologize for something that happened in the past, okay? They really want to clear the air about something. Um, I feel like it's going to give you a lot of clarity. Now, I don't know if you want to be with this person still or not, but they definitely want to be someone that you can trust and they want to put in that effort. Okay, so that's pile number three. So I hope that resonated. If you guys want to book something personal, I do have a promotion going on. The information is in the comment section. It will not be in the description box, just FYI. If you're looking for the link for some reason, I can't put the link in the description box. Um, but the coupon code and the link will be in the comment section. All right, sending you guys absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.